Hello, welcome back here. In this episode, I'm going to tell you about changes in maps, changes in treasure hunting in patch 3.5. Let's begin. To see how how this is working right now, I went out and started digging out around 40 of those arcane maps and around 100 of those rare maps. My goal in in this uh, triple event thingy was to actually hunt for those maps because I believed that there will be an increased chance of me getting books of Aurora most of all and I was really curious what will happen with uh, arcane maps because arcane maps were dropping mana wisps and that happened before patch 3.5 in patch 3.5 if you don't know then let me tell you that mana wisps are being removed so I was curious what they will give us instead of those I assumed that maybe maybe they will give us like Arcum essence Turns out I was really really wrong. This is why. First of all, I was wrong because I assumed that this triple event will increase my chances of getting books of Aurora. Seems like my chance was still around 10%. Previously, on my previous hands, I got around one book of Aurora per 10 maps opened and this is the same in this scenario, so I was wrong. Sorry for those of you who listened to me. I believe that we aren't benefiting from triple events, from loot increased potions and shit like that when we are hunting for treasure maps. So this is the first change. Second thing is the changes that happened in the maps themselves. First of all, the, it was mentioned in the patch notes, maps no longer drop black pearls so often. So black pearls for me were like vendor items, but they were pretty cool because it was like two gold per piece if you vendored it. So. I wasn't trying to sell them for like 3 gold or 2 and a half, I, I just vendored it. It was pretty pretty good amount. If you went out and hunted for like 100 maps, you received uh, around 100 pairs that was like 100 gold. So right now this is nerfed, they decreased the chance of dropping uh, of those and I believe it's around 50% now. Because out of 100 rare maps I've got a bit more than 50, maybe, maybe around 60 of those. So that's like between 50 to 60 percent drop chance. And my second question was what's going to drop instead of mana wisps out of rare maps? To check it I've opened those 40 arcane maps I've mentioned already and turns out that well there's a good change here but it's not good enough. Mana wisps were replaced by lunarite and I mean those lunarites that we are using in handicrafting that are really expensive fine lunarites and superior lunarites but the problem is that they aren't dropping often enough because arcane map it has a chance to drop black pearl arcum crystals arcum essences and we have three types of those and two types of superior lunarites and two types of uh, fine lunarites so when you sum it up it seems like those lunarites they are really good but they aren't dropping too often and they are being pushed behind with with the other loot that appears from arcane maps and the problem here is that after I calculated how much I would I would or could get for just selling those arcane maps was around 2000 gold and the loot that I received even with those lunarites was worth maybe maybe a thousand well that's that's not good enough and we aren't even talking about silver per labor cost yet because it would turn out that I put too much into this business you know and that's a disappointment because I hope that maybe those arcane maps they will become cooler somehow you know because rare maps if they are really cheap they are always good to collect heroic maps they always have this RNG aspect they have you know our Ayana design somewhere in the background so it's always cool to hunt for heroic ones and arcanes are like between heroic and rare ones with the price and they are worthless I believe they are worse than the rare ones. It felt like it was so much effort, so expensive and so little reward here. But hey, at least now you and I, we both know what we can expect from those maps. So at least we have some kind of exploration in exploration in patch 3.5. Now you know what you can expect from those rare maps. You know what to expect from arcane maps. In the end, well, I think that I will still be hunting for rare maps in Aurora with the speedrun method that I've presented in one of my previous videos, but I think I will stay away from arcane maps unless if I see that those lunarites become terribly expensive, then I might consider going back to hunting arc for arcane treasures, but right now I think it's not worth. So that's it from me, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did remember to subscribe, hit the like button or comment. Thank you very much and see you later.